Hello guys, welcome to Swiss Communication Group. In today's video, I'll tell you guys 5 reasons why you shouldn't buy the HP Elite Book M30 GT. This is a nice laptop, but it has some bad features. I'll make one known to you guys in this video. Before I continue with the video, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification. The first issue I have with the HP Elite Book M30 GT is the battery duration. As advertised online, it says that this laptop can last up to 16 hours. When in reality, the laptop only lasts for at most 4 hours. Because of this issue, I have to carry my laptop charger along everywhere I'm going. This is really inconvenient. The second issue I have with this laptop is that it was released in 2017. That's 6 years ago. This laptop is 6 years old. It comes with the 7 generation processors. Either i7 7 generation or Core i5 7 generation. And compared to today, those processors have become very slow. Back in 2017, they were really fast, but we are now in 2023, and now the 7 generation processors feel slow as compared to the 11 generation or 12 generation processors. You can easily go for the 1030 G7 or 1030 G8. Those laptops come to the 11 and 10 generation processors. They are really fast as compared to the 7 generation. The third issue I have with this laptop is from the speaker. This laptop comes with the band and resolution sound system. In reality, that's supposed to sound nice. But as compared to the 1030G3, this laptop speaker doesn't sound really nice. The 1030G3 speaker is better than the 1030G2 speaker. Also, when you compare this speaker to a MacBook, you don't really get the buzz that you get from it. Bang and listen sound speakers. Let me test out the speakers for you guys to listen. I'll start the video in 3, 2, 1. This is the maximum speaker of the 1030 g The fourth issue I have with this laptop comes from the fan. This laptop overheats very easily. I just turned on this laptop for this review. And when I turned it on, I haven't really opened any app. But if you're listening close, you can hear this fan whining. Currently, there are no applications running on this laptop. Only the browser is open. But even with that, you can still hear the sound of the fan. And it has started heating up. When you open apps like Photoshop, the laptop becomes really hot. When I mean hot, I mean very hot. When you compare this laptop with the 11 or 12 generation i7s, they don't really get hot very easily. Another one to cause issues for the laptop, when running high core applications, it's advisable to use the laptop in a well ventilated area or use it in an air conditioned environment. Another one to cause overheating to the laptop. The fifth and last issue I have with this laptop comes with the connectivity. The laptop has a physical SIM card slot, but it doesn't come out. And even when it comes out and you set the SIM card, you can't really use the mobile hotspot connection. As you can see over here, there is no mobile hotspot data connection. You only have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. As compared to HP to 1030 G3, when you press the SIM card slot, they easily pop out. But the G2 doesn't pop out. So you have to force it out with a pin or something small. Even when you force it out and you place your SIM card in there, they don't work. The SIM card port is very useful. When you're in a location that doesn't have the Wi-Fi, on the 1030G3, you can easily slot in your SIM card and can access the internet. But on this G2, I've tried my best and the SIM card slot doesn't work. Don't get me wrong, this is a very good laptop and it has nice value for money. But if you can really afford the newer versions of the HP laptop, you'll be much more happier with those ones. Apart from these five features, I don't really have any other issues with my laptop. 